I seem to be fated to make videos about performance and locking, so here we go. But first, if you're watching this in January of 2024, I'm looking for work. I'll post a link to my LinkedIn profile in the video description. Please reach out to me if you know of an opening. I recently saw a discussion where someone suggested avoiding read-write mutexes because they're slower than plain mutexes. This seemed like something worth testing to me. Let's start out by looking at how these two work. If you're already familiar with read-write mutexes and the difference from a regular mutex, feel free to skip to the timestamp on the screen. A standard mutex ensures that only one thread of execution can hold the mutex at any time. If two threads want access simultaneously, the mutex will grant access to one, and block the other from proceeding until the first process releases the mutex. This is commonly used to ensure that two threads don't corrupt memory by trying to modify data simultaneously. A read-write mutex has two locking modes. Any number of execution threads can hold a read lock on the mutex simultaneously. However, if any thread holds the write lock, then it is held exclusively, and no other threads can acquire any type of lock, read or write, on the mutex until the write lock is released. A typical use case would be a data cache, where it's safe for many threads to read the cache data simultaneously, but it's only safe for a single thread to modify the cache data. At first, it may seem unintuitive that a read-write mutex could be slower than a normal mutex. If multiple readers can proceed in parallel, then it will always be faster than forcing them to run serially, right? However, the logic required to ensure fair acquisition of read locks and write locks is complicated enough that it's likely that mutex operations themselves are more time consuming in a read write mutex than in a normal mutex. If you've managed to keep up with all that, then you're probably thinking, there's probably a magic ratio of readers to writers that dictates which of these is the fastest. Okay, let's find that ratio. The test program I wrote defines a locker interface that has lock and unlock methods as well as methods to read lock and read unlock, or unread lock? Anyway, I then implemented a version using a standard mutex where the read locking also blocks, and using a read write mutex that allows the read locks to run in parallel. The test accepts a parameter telling it how many readers and writers to start, and how many iterations to run, then times how long it takes to complete. I then run the test with different ratios of readers to writers for 5,000 iterations each. I use eight total processes since that's the number of CPUs on my test machine. Looking at the results, all of the tests ran in the same amount of time for the standard mutex. That's because reading and writing are handled in the same way. With the read-write mutex, we can see that throughput is significantly higher when there are a lot of read threads. No surprises here. This is the use case that read-write mutexes are designed for. At first, it may be unintuitive that seven write operations and one read operation run at the same speed as eight write operations, but since there is only one read operation, there's nothing to run in parallel, so the single read operation is effectively handled as if it were a write. If you squint real hard at the graph, it looks like the read-write mutex is slightly slower than the mutex when all the threads are writers. In actual numbers, the read-write mutex is 13 microseconds slower than the mutex. However, the difference in run times between the mutex tests is 14 microseconds, so that's hardly conclusive. The difference is within the error bars for this testing method, and to measure performance any more accurately would require more carefully crafted tests. If your performance requirements are strict enough to be measured in microseconds, you'll probably want to do your own experiments. My conclusion, then, is that if your use case suggests the use of a read-write mutex, you'll see higher throughput by using one. Even in the worst use case scenario, a read-write mutex is just as fast as a regular mutex. Some may comment that this can only be said for the Go programming language, because that's where I tested it. But I find that hard to believe. Read-write mutexes have existed in programming languages for decades. There's been plenty of time to optimize their algorithms, and I'd be shocked if anyone could find an implementation that produced different results.